Um, and then you also got a fight that a lot of people are sleeping on. It's a good little fight right here. Marlon Marais and Rob Font. Rob Font's actually Calvin Cater's coach. Rob Font and Marlon Marais. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Calvin Cater's coach. Um, and Mar- Marlon Marais is ex-champ, so how do you think that's going to play out? Um, I'm going to go with Marais, man. It's hard to it's hard to go against Marais, even though I think he, I mean, has he yeah, lost he lost the last against, couple fights? Yeah, yeah, he lost against Santa Hagen in his last he fight, the spinning Hagen, hook. Yeah. Marais is good. He just got so much power for bantamweight, so I can never count him out. Cause he's yeah. just always like, if he touches your chin, whether it's with a kick or a punch, he's gonna lay you out. Rob Font's good. He's got good boxing. He's been around for a long time, but it's hard to go against Marlon. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Marlon on that fight. I agree. I agree. Also, I think yeah, his striking is gonna be on point in this fight. He has. He's gonna come in this fight. I think with something to prove. I agree. Yeah, because let me see his last couple fights. I'm pretty sure he's on a, on a little bit of a losing streak, Marlon Marais. So, yeah, he, he can't afford another loss, I think. You know what I mean? He uh, had that close fight against Jose, Aldo, remember? They gave him that fight against Jose. <coughs> and I think after that, he had got knocked out by San Hagen. Yeah, you're right. His His last two fights were Aldo, which... I'll, you could argue that Aldo pretty much won, and yeah. then he lost against Sanhagen. And we'll see. We'll see how he does against Rob Font. I mean, Rob Font's not a scrub. He's good. He's gonna. It's gonna be a good scrap. But I'll go with Marlon just off power. I always. Yeah. It's hard to go against a dude with that much power for 135. Like he hits. He don't hit like a 135er. He hits no, hard. I, yeah, and the way he kicked, uh, knocked out Aljamain Sterling, the, was was insane. Yeah, put him asleep. 